Hello all, welcome to the second episode of this music recommendation dashboard. Uh, in the previous episode, what we have seen is how we we have built this engine. That we have seen how to make all these charts. We have seen how to use the uh, use RMSE, the root mean square error method, to get the similar songs. So if you have not seen that already, just to give you a quick view. Like you select any song from here, any song from track streams, the, there the metrics are updated here. You put those metrics in here, right? This is 98, and this is 82, 59, 0, 18, 10, 54. Right, so now all these songs that you're getting is are similar songs. How, how are they similar? They're similar with respect to all of these metrics. Set your acoustic, danceability and everything. So now in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to see how to beautify this dashboard because naturally when we are submitting it to the client, we cannot give it in this raw form. We have to beautify it. We have to make it look more appealing such that um, it looks good. So let me show you how to do that. So just to show you the end product, the end product will look something like this, right? You have a dark green, uh, dark, uh, dark background with a green overtone and the green will be from the Spotify green. All right. So that is that. So let's start. So first, what we are going to do is we will uh, put the layout, right? We will we'll start with creating the uh, black background itself and I'll say yeah i'll i can choose this i can choose this but if i if i choose the darker color i i'm not able to see the titles anymore so i'm going to choose a light, lighter gray relatively lighter gray right and then what i'm going to do is now all these charts that are there um they they have a white background so i'm going to change that background and i'll say that within this worksheet don't give me any color right so once you select it once you do the right click format for one you don't have to do that all the time because it is automatically selected in that mode right and now here this is the last one great this is good then what else uh, we'll add the title so i'll put text and i'll say music recommendation dashboard tableau our sign and this is about 20 and I'll put this as look I'll, I'll put it all in a lighter uh, font oh I've not put these in uh, I haven't changed these yet let me change these as well All right, and then what else? I'll need to put in the picture. So let me put the picture here. No, not here. Um, choose. So I already copied this from the Google, right? From Google, I downloaded this logo, and I'll say fit image, and okay. So this is. I'll put this beside. Okay, let me bring all of these to the side first so that it's easier to manipulate. And this is here. Yeah, now this is better. All right, great. Now I'm seeing, uh, now as you can see, that the write up like all the font is very dark because of the dark back background so we'll have to make it light so let's do that we'll see if, uh, not format it within the sheet i'll go go to format this is format font and i'll say uh change it to this color yes yeah, so this color is fine same thing here this color
right and then even further uh, oh yeah please as well i have to do all right so now let me uh, put in the color now for the color it's important that we understand that uh, i want it in the uh, green of spotify right i want it in the spotify green color so let me show you how how to do that so within color if i go and select colors i'll not get get the spotify color immediately i'll have to you know go to more color and then put it uh this way but uh, there's another better way to do this and that is put the spotify thing on the side so i have i'm opening this i'm opening the image and i'm putting the image on the side all right so it's, it's on on the side and i'll put this here mm -hmm. and i'll say go i'll go to color and i'll say more colors and I'll say pick screen color and here this is selected so now this is the actual Spotify green it's not it's not uh, what I think is Spotify green color or or nearby color it's the actual color and once you have uh, once you have it for one uh, sheet for the others you don't have to do the pick screen color again why why because it will be there in your recent colors so I put it this here and now even for these uh, i'm not very happy with how this looks right because it's very uh, too bright and i'll change this uh, it's too bright um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to color and i'll say i want something which looks a bit uh, which would go with green so let's say miller stone a bit too dark maybe what about Lightning sunrise. Oh, these are all interesting colors. Mm, there should be a yeah, green orange teal. Um, too bright. No real stone. Yeah, I think this is fine. So this gives you a. Uh, yes so when you change it for one chart like uh, the the way it works in tableau with respect to colors is that every all the charts if uh, acousticness at one place is purple it is purple everywhere in acousticness right so so that's how even even though in this chart i hadn't explicitly changed the colors it still has automatically changed because uh, there's only one color for each chart so now all of this is the, these colors are changed these things are changed so now these grid lines i'm sure you're also not liking it i'm also not liking it so i'm going to remove the grid lines format these lines go to columns none i have same here columns none and uh, what else i feel that i don't really require the uh, this axis why because the numbers are there anyway there but uh, uh, let's let's just keep it there. and or maybe instead of instead of the whole distinct count of track name number of tracks right simply number of tracks and uh, yes that's it and maybe i don't really require uh, because i have the what is called the um yeah i think i'll, I'll leave it as it as it is i was thinking i'll remove the axis because i have um because i have the numbers beside it anyway but then maybe i think it's better to have the access right and this um this what will i do let me see format i'll say fields some track and access and i'll say number reduce it to one yeah this is better right because uh, or maybe I'll just say, yeah, this is this is even better. So one billion, two billion, three billion, four billion. Okay, just looks a bit more professional, looks more cleaner. That's it. 
um, great now that this is done I will have to change the titles so this is um, tracks by major key and then this goes here and this I'll put it as 10 and maybe this uh, because this is a header I'll put it in semi bold yeah this is better and here um, select select track to find similar songs Right, so I've said that you know, select the song so that you get the key parameters. And uh, this is semi gold, okay. And here, uh, key parameters of track. And here, what I'll do is I'll make this dynamic right track name. I'll put so this gives me. Um, yeah, this gives will give me a better way of looking at it. And this only track name alone, I will put it in the green. So someone will have to write this looks good. And I'll say 10 apply. This is semi bold. And uh, this will be seven tracks similar to selected track again 10 and this is this one and this is semi gold okay uh, here I'll say enter parameters right enter parameters this will be this color and this is semi bold okay great all of this looks good now these borders these lines that you're seeing i feel they are a bit dark so i'm going to change that so we are in format go to borders and i'll say i think it is uh, whether let me go to sheet directly this will be better so this maybe it's not this one column divider Mm, total grand total let let's just see whether it's column divided and here else I'll, I'll go for it ah good this looks good and right so it's not or maybe it uh, if it's if you think it's a bit too dark then yeah see this is better so basically I just want to darken it so that it's not uh very prominent it should it should blend within the background it shouldn't show up so this goes I think here also I'll make it darker right just because I think it looks better now this is this and um, I'm seeing how do I make grand total I'm trying to make this line dark the bottom line dark <laughs> Access rulers. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Nice. Now, now it's all coming. Okay. So here as well, I'll I'll do the same thing. Mm, so this will be border. 
and uh, I think horizontals are rows but then let me just check yeah there you go right and uh, um, now you see that here uh, some of these are not in the same size as the other and it doesn't look very good right and you can't change the number manually you can't say uh, you can't go to layout and, and tweak with the width so the alternative because this is style if this was in floating you could have done that so the alternative is then we'll put a vertical container here all right and in this vertical container we'll put these three things so total tracks so in the vertical container it automatically distributes it equal uh, evenly you see it's it's automatically distributed evenly right so this looks good great so now the only thing that's left is the borders and i'll go here layout border and now um, i want the green but this green i feel is a bit too bright and as i mentioned before i don't like it too bright i prefer that uh, it should always be it should always uh, absorb within the background so i'll go to more colors this is the spotify green i've gone to more more colors and i've taken a darker uh ju just went darker in this right the same thing i'm going to do now that I've, i have it it's there in the uh decent colors all right so then the last is this now I want to select container tile. Oh, so now the uh, select container. I was thinking I would select the entire uh, container, but it's all different, different container. This is this is one container, and I was thinking this enter parameters is part of it. So I'm going to add enter parameters within it, but I'll face an issue that uh, it will just not accept it on the top. Right? It'll it'll say that. Uh, uh, it will just not accept it on the top. It will put it in a different thing altogether, a different uh, place altogether, which is what happened initially. So what I'll do is I'll put it between uh, one of these two items which are already there in this in this box. Right, so now this is here, and then I'll take the one which is on top and that bring that bottom. Right. So this is this is there. Now if I do this, yeah, see it, it's it's good and then I'll bring it I'm not able to bring it further down oh I don't require track name I'll hide this track name hide this and I'll bring this uh, I'll see if I can bring it up because I want all everywhere that acousticness and all of these should be in the same uh, place more or less so here so just because these are the gray I will put this also in the gray border and this will be this one okay and then i'm going to select the vertical tile and i'll say border this one all right this looks fine but you must see that uh, here um, because it's a vertical container it it doesn't have any outer padding Right, whereas all the other have a auto padding of four, whereas this one, it doesn't have any auto padding. Let me select this again. Select vertical container. This doesn't have any auto padding. So what I'll do is I'll add auto padding for this one. Oh wait, all equal. Great. Yeah. So now everywhere it looks, it looks good. Enter parameters. I'll see parameters in the next line so that it doesn't. Yeah, enter parameters. Good. So this is it, guys. Uh, with this, we oh now that this uh, this is done, let me darken this the background a bit. Yes. Now this looks really good, doesn't it? 
so this is about it about the music recommendation dashboard um, please do suggest if any modifications can be made oh yeah there's one modification i do not like a lot of space between the bars so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to that sheet and yeah do this same thing with similar songs go to the sheet size and so how does it look in the dashboard not much different but still looks good so this is about it guys this is the music recommendation dashboard uh, again you select let's say shape of you you get the parameters 58 96 83 65 0 9 8 and 93 so now all of these songs are similar to shape of you you're having shape of you this is sunflower left and right cinema if we ever broke up nice so all of these songs are the ones that are similar to um, what we or, or shape of you so that's about it uh, hope you have a great rest of the day i'll see you in the next episode thank you